hey guys welcome to my channel my name is sandy welcome 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 today is thursday already and it's been a fast-paced morning woke up because i did go to bed early after a wonderful dinner with my husband it turned out nice guys i enjoyed myself and the boys went to bed of course and yes i had a good night went to my mom's house this morning because my sister had to leave out and i watched the twins which was a pleasure and yeah chilled over there and now i'm in front of the boys school or my son's school and y'all know how that is so you are going to hear some cars because there, it's a busy road but today i wanted to talk about he knows who his wife is and usually when a guy meets you and tell you, you know, eventually start to get involved with you and then tell you that he wants you to be his wife. Proverbs 18 and 22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. You know also whether that's good for you, you know. And this is coming from a standpoint of knowing the word and being followers of Christ. Not just being a Christian, but knowing the word and being followers of Christ and loving God and being consistent with renewing your mind. Big difference. So, he knows. And there's some men that don't even know God. They know also. Because God put that in them, you know. They find it for wife. So they know already. And it's something that I have asked a couple of guys that I do know and talk to and that have wives. And they married within years. A year of knowing the person. Or within a couple of years. But they knew that they loved that person. And they knew that they wanted to spend their life with them. Early into the relationship. But God do tell you that he'll guide you. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Psalms 32 and 8. He's going to guide the man to do. And he guides us also in all our ways. Like he guides us. We'll know. We'll know if we want them to be our husband. I know I knew. And I also married somebody of a mirror image of, of me, which is equally yoke. It, it means that they're a mirror of who you are. Because when I ended up getting married or were proposed to, I was not all the way in Christ. I was saved, claiming I was saved, but I was not obedient to his word and, and being consistent with renewing my mind in the word. So... I was just like him. And now I know. And I want to, you know, inform people that there's a better way. Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? That there's a better way. But he knows. But that's where I was when I married my husband. Me and him were in the same place in life. And we grew together in the word. We grew together in a lot of things, which is a blessing. But in some cases, like my mom, she raised us. She didn't want us to marry people that were not equal to what we were. And it just so happened, I was not all the way in God. So it produced something that he knew of God through me and that's not a good way but beyond the fact God did what he did we ended up married and we went through what we need to go through to learn more about Christ and most of the things that we go through in our marriage is because of the things that we did before we married but now 15 years later it's totally different you know, we know each other like a book and we enjoy our lives now and we grow in God. But 
that's something that I know. God put instills that in a man. It don't take forever, you know? Okay, the next one is peace. God gives peace to both the man and the woman through his word. And he gives them an option. So, yes, he gives peace. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace. That way you know that you know you're supposed to marry that person. Okay, guys, the next one is he loves you. Like Christ loved the church, which means like Christ loves you. So, yes, that's the next one. You'll know. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Ephesians 5 and 25. Because he loved you like Christ loved the church. And Christ loved the church enough to give his life for it. Keep that in mind. Your family and friends that are within the body of Christ will approve, which means that they will say, hey, he's a nice guy. He loves God. You know, they can see it. They're the outsiders looking in. So it's important for us to, you know, be around family, especially the body of Christ. And I know people like, I don't care if they like, no, I cared. But once your heart is already, like my mom told me, once your heart is already caught up in that person, you don't care. So that's why it's good to bring them around. That's what I did when I was dating. I made sure I brought them around my family. And it was crazy because this one guy, he said, oh man, your family, they really love. And they talk about God all the time. And he said, you know, I'm not looking. This is not what I want right now. So it scared him away, but I was blessed that, you know, he decided, like, he didn't want that. And it was awesome, you know? So, yes, bring people, bring the guy around your family. Bring the woman around your family. So they can approve it. Don't mean that they got control, but they'll let you know what they feel. Another thing, talk about what you, your expectations in of that person. Like, what do you expect from a wife or a husband? How do you, what are your beliefs on raising a child? Do you believe in spankings? If they're in the body of Christ, they believe whatever the word says. But it's best to talk about those things like finances, um, overall, your beliefs, your the polit political views you have. Because it's two people coming together as one. So I'm going to write a list of things out that you should, you know, talk about. It's very important to talk about. It. So guys, that's it for today. Enjoy your day. And this is just a couple of things that I had going through my mind. And I wanted to bless you. But have a nice evening. And pray. I pray that you continue to be consistent in prayer because that is our connection with Christ. Read his word. Stay connected. Stay connected to God. Especially nowadays because it's a lot going on. When I say a lot, it's a lot going on. So stay focused. Stay consistent. Stay renewing your mind. Be encouraged. Peace out. See y'all.